is going on guys it's i your friendly neighborhood twat in a sonic hat calamity here with my boy dean dean how are you all good man all good 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 and we're here today to discuss episodes three and four of falcon and the winter soldier mm -hmm. dean i'm loving this show it's all good man it, it it's i mean it's pretty much if you wanted more of the second cat movie you're getting it exactly very espionage undercover globe trotting uh, and it really extends the marvel universe it, it really mm. fleshes it out more and i think what we're going to do in this this review is we're going to talk about episode three quite briefly because we're a week late on it my bad yeah. and then we'll go into episode four in a bit more detail because it's the most recent one mm -hmm. but in line with what i was just saying in, in terms of fleshing out i feel like episode three gave us a very iconic location in the marvel universe which is madripoor mm -hmm. which is home of emma frost's hellfire club i believe okay i think that's where they operate out of um, okay so i uh, you know they they go to madripoor bucky and and um Fal and sam how am i forgetting the name mm -hmm. um they go to madripoor in order to find out like on this mission with zemo to basically find out what's going on with the super soldier serum and they run into and Sharon zemo Gun. goes clubbing zemo goes clubbing and that dance that... sequence is quite the dance sequence uh daniel brawler said there's an extended version like it went on for yeah. a lot longer than that so I'm i i saw it on that. his instagram it's pretty fun awesome i need to actually check it out I hope they do it as like a post credit scene for the last episode. <laughs> it should be great. Like see him in like, a, in like a Japanese karaoke lounge. Exactly. It would be beautiful. Just something with Zemo. He's, yeah. he's really become a standout character through the, yeah. this episode, yeah. through episode three. He's like, he's like the Loki of Captain America. Exactly. He's just brilliant. As well as being, you know, a psychopath. Yeah. But you know you don't hate him no. i find you, you you're kind of on zemo's side a little bit yeah yeah he's, he's got a similar stick to uh killmonger i believe i i would say yeah yeah i i would say that he's you can't say he's not got a point yeah in everything he's got serious points <laughs> definitely definitely and of course they meet sharon carter who mm -hmm we find out was kind of like exiled because she got cap shield and falcon's wings and gave them to him when they were enemies of the state because of the sokovia records yep uh, so she's had to live her life underground and we find in madripoor and can i just say actually quickly about madripoor it was directed by this episode was directed by the director of john wick oh and i you could really tell that when you're in madripoor it looked like a John Wick nightclub scene. The it whole did. place. It did. So, and that's actually a really good setting for it, I feel. I think it was a really good aesthetic for the whole mm -hmm. location. Uh, but yeah, Madripoor is... The way it's spoken about, it, it has significance. Yeah. It's going to have significance. And we find out... They're that, dangling that, the X-Men so badly. Yeah, they are. They're literally dangling <laughs> it in front of our faces. And we get to find out that the power broker, whose identity is still unknown, was mm -hmm. after Super Soldier Serum and managed to find a professor who was unblipped called Professor Nagel, who was able to cook up 20 doses of it. Mm -hmm. And then Zemo shoots him. Because <laughs> it's Zemo. Zemo shoots him, smashes all but one of the vials in a yeah. fit of rage. I mean, you can't really blame him. Like, this stuff gets out of the box. It's, it's Pandora's box. It is. And people with good intentions killed his family. Yeah. And these things very rarely actually find themselves in the hands of people with good intentions. You know, this mm -hmm. idea that power mm -hmm. corrupts and that kind of thing so he's I mean, got a point to quote dr grant 
some of the worst things imaginable have been done with the best intentions. It's true. It's very true. And I think that, you know, he he's on point. We Yeah. And then it's another theme that this show keeps backing up which is the theme of there is only one Steve Rogers. Yeah. And I feel like that kind of plays into that even more. Like, yeah. Steve Rogers was an anomaly. Uh, sorry, an anomaly. If anomaly. you give these powers <laughs> to... If these powers get out into the real world for anyone mm-hmm. to access, the chances of you finding someone as good-hearted as Steve Rogers is very, very slim. Yeah, it's like... What what did the, the the doctor say? He's like, not a, not a perfect soldier, but a good man. Yeah, it's like it only enhances what's already there. Like it 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 things it brings it up. So if you're a bit of a dick, you are a complete psychopath when you have the serum. Yeah, as we go to see. So yeah, <laughs> as I was going to say that is a fantastic segue into episode four. So. <laughs> Oh, and one thing, sorry, we we always end up doing this, or I always end up doing this. Uh, mm. At the end of episode three, we got an appearance by Io of the Dora yes. Milaje, uh speaking to Bucky. And we pick up straight from that in episode four. Yep. And just as I expected, Wakanda are pissed that Zemo's out of prison. Yeah. They're not having that. King T'Chaka was murdered. They They ain't having it. And so they put a warning. Was it eight hours they said to Bucky before they come and get him? Between eight and 24. Something like that, yeah. Might have been 12. Who knows? But they said that, you know, we we will come and get him. And they have gone, Bucky and Sam have gone to Latvia with Zemo because that is where they are hoping to find Carly due to the death of um, the person that took her in after she was displaced and kind of helped her get to where she is. How um, much are you betting that Latveria is around here somewhere in this map? So the first time I saw Latvia come up, I paused it and rewinded yeah, yeah. just to check. <laughs> I I think that's possible. Like, if things go bad in this region. Yeah. Actually, no, because then Dune doesn't preside over it. I, do you know what? I don't think they are going to drop Latveria because I think that's coming with the Fantastic Four movie. I mean, it could be old Latveria because Doom only has new Latveria. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. I, I could see them going that way. Definitely. Because, yeah. you know, it is it is coming up. We know that. Um, yeah. But yeah, so they go there and Sam has a talk with Carly, the leader mm-hmm. of the Flag Smashers. And this, to me, shows why Sam is the next Steve Rogers. Yeah, like Steve trusted him to be the good man, to be the do things the right way, to not escalate when he doesn't have to. Exactly. Talk to people like people. Exactly. And John Walker turns up and is like, oh, no, we're doing this my way or whatever. And he's like, "I'm Uh, I'm a trained army therapist, like... I, I, this is exactly my wheelhouse. Like, this is what I do. I've talked to soldiers about their trauma and their grief. And I was just like, yo. And then there's a bit. So, I'm sure you remember in Civil War, uh, Tony's line of, they don't give visas to weapons of mass destruction. And Steve replies, she's just a kid. Mm. And that is what Sam says about Carly. When Zemo's mm. like, no, there's nothing there. You need to kill her. He's like, no, she's just a kid. And it, it, it shows, again, that, that compassion that Steve yeah. had and why he was meant to pick up the goddamn shield and hold onto it. Granted, he gave it to a museum, and if it's not going to go in someone's hand, that's probably the way for it to go. But then the yeah. government were just like, no, let's give it to fucking John Walker. Now, I said to you, I said something to you after I watched this episode initially about how I, much I absolutely hate John Walker and Carly Morgenthau. Not because of the actors. Mm. I thought we need to put this disclaimer in because look what happened yes. with the uh, guys. Is it Wyatt Russell? Yes. Yeah, the, the actor, whoever is the, the actor, actor yeah. took down his Instagram, yeah. Yeah, took down his Instagram because people bullied him over 
John Walker, him playing John Walker and saying they hate yeah. the character. That means the actor's doing a good job, folks. Um, yes, exactly. But God, do I hate that man. I hate Carly yeah. more because so the... much she got banned from Facebook for a week. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, I said no. so. Context, guys, in a group, a Marvel group, people were talking about Carly and like. It was a it was just a Falcon the Winter Soldier question that involved Carly and I was just like killer. Yeah. Like oh we'll probably Ooh. get demonetized for just that as well. But I said do that because she's not a good guy and there is no saving her blah, blah blah. And Facebook tried to ban me for seven days and then I was like Facebook come on. And they were like sorry we made a mistake. I'm like damn right you made a mistake. I'm talking about taking down a super villain in a comic book TV show. But yeah, <laughs> she yeah. says so the cap the, there's a someone that works with her. Uh, in the Flag Smashers who said that he was a Captain America fan and she was like oh. that shield should be melted down and, and destroyed um, it's just a memory of a forgotten era and all the people it left behind and I'm like Steve Rogers left nobody behind yeah literally that was like, his whole thing no like I get what you're saying the world has left you behind because you are displaced from the blip but steve rogers that man was greater than any of us deserved because yep. when everyone everyone was down and his arm was broken and his shield was split in half he got up Splinted the broken arm with the shield and stood there to fight against an army because that's what Steve Rogers does. When things go south, he can't look away. Fuck Carly Morgenthau. <laughs> Threatening Sam's we nephews. Skip... Die. We we skipped over the the fight in um with the uh, US agent and the Wakandans. Okay, y yes. That so... was a really good fight scene. So well, let, let's let's just move on slightly from the memorial because there's something else that happens just before that. So mm -hmm. after that thing, US agent interrupts Sam and says, no, I'm doing this my way, being a dickhead. And Carly runs off and Zemo shoots her and she mm -hmm. drops the serum, 20 vials of it. Well, I think mm -hmm. it was 20 vials. I'm not, I didn't count them, but I think it, from that, what I yeah. gathered, it was the full lot. And Zemo stepped on all of them crushing them i thought he was going to take one, one. but so did one I. that he didn't see yeah, but then it made sense that he didn't i'm glad he didn't because he yeah. does mod super soldiers and when john walker gets in the room and to arrest zemo well he doesn't manage to arrest zemo does he, he goes in there chasing after zemo and carly though he finds yeah. one vial that zemo missed yeah and he puts it in his pocket he puts it in his pocket and then we go back to the hotel room where uh, John Walker again turns up like being an arsehole saying that he's going to control things from now on which he's clearly not and the Dora Milaje turn up and batter him yep they absolutely wreck him and the fact that he comes away and he's like they weren't even super soldiers it's like yeah yeah and even Sam what says to him, like, up, man? exactly. Sam says to him, like, you might want to think twice before you pick a fight with the Dora Milaje. And the best, yeah. the, the best line in that scene, right, hands down, is when uh, John Walker's like, you have no jurisdiction here, and Ao is like, the Dora Milaje have to stick. Um, oh, how did I just lose the word? Jurisdiction anywhere, Jurisdic whatever it was. The, yeah, the Dora Milaje have jurisdiction wherever the Dora Milaje shall find themselves. And I was just like, Yes. Don't fuck with Wakanda, people. No, you don't. For... Removes Bucky's arm by a few yeah. simple taps. Insane. You could tell he was shook by that. Like, 100%. Yeah. And then, so yeah, they go off. Zemo escapes, as you would expect from Zemo. Mm -hmm. so he just walks door... out. He doesn't run. He just walks out. Well, no, that's what I thought, and then I found out that's. Then I realised that's not what he does. He goes in a hole in the bathroom, the little hatch. Okay. That's why Sam's like, I can't believe you pulled an El Chapo on us. 
and then he goes to the uh, doors and closes them from the outside. Looks yeah. to you and then closes them from the outside. I just thought, oh my god, Timo is so charismatic. So smooth, though. He's really smooth. I love it. He, he's just top notch. And then yeah. we get... So Carly phones Sam's sister and Ooh. threatens her and Sam's nephews, her kids. Ooh. And so... US agent, well, John Walker and his friend find the location of the main Flag Smashers camp where they're mm -hmm. based at that time. And Carly meets Bucky and Falcon, you assume, like a couple of blocks away in a, in a, yeah. in a building. And it seems like Carly offers Sam to join her, which was mm -hmm. a bit, I was like, really? You really? He's an Avenger. Um, and then you find out that John has found the other camp. And when he goes there, he seems to have got some strength. Yeah. He's fighting a super soldier and suddenly bends the bar that the super soldier is uh, attacking him with and starts going nuts. Yep. And we realize that he took the serum. He, w and... he was never going to not because he... He feels inadequate because he's not Steve, and he's constantly yeah. reminded that he's not Steve, so it why was very much him... inevitable. Yeah, I mean, why did they call him Cap? Why did they call him Captain America? Because nobody is going to live up to that. It doesn't matter if you actually are a good guy, you are going to deal with issues by having that mantle. Yeah. Cap can lift Mjolnir. Can John Walker yeah. lift Mjolnir? No, never in a million years. <laughs> Like, no, he's, he's, yeah. It's too much of a he, burden to bear. He even said, like, what they did to get the medals were not good things. I think they let a lot of people die. Yeah. yeah. Or they did, like, their orders weren't very vanilla. I, I thought that, but then there was the bit where it was like, you think how many lives we could have saved that day if we had that serum? Which led me to believe that it was potentially an incident where a lot of fatalities occurred. Yeah. Like, they saved people, but the amount they lost was, like, significantly greater. Yeah. But even then, like, it would play more into it that he was a bad guy. You know, like, he did some really questionable yeah. shit. And then yeah. Carly, in her rage, kills his bro. Um, Lamar. I forget. Lamar Hoskins, that's it. And, uh, I don't know just... if he's got a, a, a code name or anything, but Lamar is something or other. No, I was hoping he would. And I noticed there's almost like a cap suit underneath the body armor. Yeah. It's like a navy and red suit. I kind of like that. I was like, oh, give him some mm. more, man. Come on, give him an actual title. But I guess what we now know why they didn't, because he's dead. Yeah. He ain't coming back. Yeah. And that proves too much for John and yeah Carly and her followers split and John jumps out the window in pure it was the exact same shot of Cap doing it from the first Avenger essentially first movie. yep and he sees the guy he doesn't see Carly but he sees the guy who was a Cap was fan who had spoke to Carly earlier about being a Captain America fan when he was younger yep and he chases him down and he flings the shield and then he flings it twice more and then he pins his foot on him against the fountain and just sh slams that shield down into him now we don't see his face after so I'm kind no. of assuming it was his skull yeah I mean if that was a 15 show you probably would have saw what he really did yeah, I mean, I, you I mean, see it from the crowd pants. of people. Yeah, the crowd of people just stood the crowd there of people. Their, every one of them had their phone out. You're done. Yeah, that's war crime. It's yeah, it's the blood, the blood at the bottom of the shield. On the shield, yeah. I was. That is not what that shield is for. No, you don't represent Captain America, John Walker. Very no. well played by Wyatt Russell, can I just say. You play the character brilliantly. <laughs> I hate his guts. 
but fuck yeah. you, John Walker. You are not worthy that is, yeah. of standing where he stood, to quote Harry Potter. <laughs> like, I don't think Cap ever had blood on his shield. Never. No, Cap killed people. Like, let's let's not make a mistake about this. Oh, yeah. Captain America killed people. He was in yeah. a world war. He, you know, yeah. like, when he, in the first Avengers, when he steps out and he flings the shield at that guy and knocks him off the heli carrier, that guy dead. Mm. That guy dead. He, you know, like, he kills people, fair enough. But yeah. at that point, John Walker could have taken him as prisoner. The, the yeah. flag smasher guy. And chose not to. Chose violence out of rage because his just best friend had just been killed. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing now why Sam really has to take his shield back. Yeah. It's not just a case of like, no, we wanted Sam to be Captain America, not this random guy anymore. It's a case of Sam, the world needs Captain America. And yeah. Holy this other guy is not the one. He's yeah. not. He's awful. And it's funny because in so like in Wonder Vision we had like two main villains, right? We had Wanda and Agatha. Yeah. Uh in And this, the guy from Sword. And the guy from Sword, yeah. I I suppose they tried Ooh. to make him more the so villain far, than Wanda. Yeah. Yeah. But then in this we've got two villains again. In well, three again, kind of because you have Zemo. Zemo, yeah. And these show this show is doing far better with its villains. I feel at this point, mm -hmm. it's a bit more obvious, at least. It's it's not that more. It's not so much more that it's obvious. It is, but that's not what I mean by the, that point. More the fact that like they're so developed. Yeah, there's so much going on with these characters, like Agatha wasn't really developed she had two three episodes where like you wrapped up agatha you figured out who she was yeah and everything. true but with this it's just like there's layers and layers and layers on these characters and yeah. the fact that i'm able to hate the character i again i really have to say is a, a, a massive achievement by the actor mm -hmm. and actress who, who play the roles respectively this is like it's joffrey fantastic. levels of hate levels of hate you're getting yeah 100 percent how dare you guys? How dare you disrespect the shield? And you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a quick quick disclaimer here because I sound like a big cap fanboy throughout this, and I am, but I wasn't. I thought that Captain America suffered from Boy Scout syndrome. Mm -hmm. uh, much the same as Superman, Cyclops, people yep. like that. Yeah. And yep. over the course of and bear in mind, I view comic Cap and movie Cap as very different things, although they both have the same journey in this sense of, like, they do mm -hmm. have those, that Boy Scout nature, but they become my favourite characters in both respect. Yeah. Not my favourite favourite, but, like, Cap is one of my favourite Avengers in the MCU. They have, he's got a really good arc. Yeah. Really, really good arc. A hundred percent. And and I find every time you watch a Cap movie, it makes the first one better. I agree because it solidifies the the um the ethos, the themes that he is putting through in that one movie. And every time you see a new Cap movie, it gets better. I completely agree. Yeah, and I think something that a lot of people may see as like naive or whatever, but yeah, the world is not a good place. The world is a pretty shitty place. And Steve Rogers is legitimately someone to aspire to be like. You don't mm. have to have a super soldier serum and a shield to go and put out a bit of positivity and happiness into the world. And Steve yeah. kind of proved that. And I think yeah. it's it's nice because particularly in this era now of like, you got Tony Stark and like, do you want to look up to Tony Stark? You can in a way, but you also have to skip over like the alcoholism, the narcissism, all of that kind of like every hero's got their dark side and all that kind of thing. Yeah. I feel yeah. with Cap, it's just such a wholehearted figure to look up to now and just be like, Yeah. I want to be like Steve Rogers one day. 
for the, yeah, for the most part, what you see is what you get with save. Like he will be there till the end. Yeah, he'll save you from a grenade. And John Walker will throw it. Like, he's like that Bruno Mars song. <laughs> he will catch a grenade for you. Yeah. He really will. But fuck John Walker. And he left and he left hand to throw it back. <laughs> <laughs> my god, my god. Uh, but yeah, so that is Falcon the Winter Soldier so far. I mean Yeah. How how are you loving it as a show? It's it's pretty good. It's it's on as I said, it's on par with WandaVision still. And like it's it is an extension of the second cap movie, maybe a bit of the third. Um It is going really well, and I'm surprised how much we're getting for how many episodes there are. I agree. I agree. Um Like you said, they were really developed characters, but really having six episodes. That's insane. Yeah, exactly. And apparently we're getting a uh, a big old cameo on the next episode. <laughs> another one eh another one but I don't know if I trust it anymore because they really yeah, let me down no. with WandaVision <laughs> uh, but unless yeah it's, it's a unless it's Fury Fury's in space I would space. like to see Fury again is he? yeah end of Far From Home but but is he? <laughs> yeah because the one on Earth is a scroll but the they could have swapped. They could have switched places. <laughs> they could have switched places again. But then, Who knows? also, Rolls. Monica at the end of um, WandaVision, where it's mm. like, he wants to see you up there. Like, that was clearly Fury. Yeah. So, but I don't know, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I, I would love to see Rhodey suit up in the last one, because we've seen yeah. Rhodey in it so far. In terms of a cameo, I don't think it's going to be Doctor Strange. I don't think it's going to be Thor. I don't think no. it's going to be a Guardian of the Galaxy. Um, it could it be Clint? I don't think they sit that well together, Sam and Clint. Mm. I don't know if they would do a thing because Sam looks like the sort of person that would not be cool with the fact that he just went massacring mobsters. Mm. I mean, Bucky would be fine with it. That would Bucky. Bucky regrets everything he did. True. So I don't know. Maybe Natasha that. then. She's Maybe dead. Natasha. She's dead. Oh, fuck. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, back. oh, they've got a movie. They've got a movie coming up. Like, they should put her in. But oh, yeah, yeah, she's dead. <laughs> I don't know. Hulk? Hulk could be so good. But then I don't feel Hulk could really play into this a lot unless... No, he's... Yeah. Okay, right. Hang on. Wild Crazy Twan Theory. Oh, here we go. I think Sam will end up taking the serum. Yes. I think he needs to. I it, think we kind gonna... of got to that point. Like they, They've heavily talked about it in this one where he was like, instantly like, no, I wouldn't take it. Um, and but he needs it for agent he needs the or maybe he doesn't and he chooses to take it after i think i'd kind of prefer yeah. that he takes him out without the serum and then takes it after because of the whole thing that john was saying about like it makes the uh it makes the person more than you know a conversation or he was having with talk him out of it yeah maybe i mean that was the other thing because he said about Bucky as well and he was like because Zemo was saying the idea is no super soldiers and he's like what about Bucky but he mm. stands against what you're saying so I think he's slowly getting convinced that he will need to take the serum or mm. not need to but in doing so he won't change he will yeah. be exactly what Steve saw in him yeah. And for that reason, I wonder if the Hulk could come into it to, like, administer the okay. serum or something. But then if John Walker was able to administer it himself, then I suppose it's not necessarily needed, is it? Mm, who else is there, then? Um... Blade. Could it be a new moral character they haven't showed yet? I don't think like, who so. Who was that hasn't been showed yet? I don't think so, purely on the basis of, like... 
are you going to launch a, a character in the movies off a TV show that not as many people are going to watch? I mean, Agatha was a fairly big character, it turned out to be. Yeah, but I don't think she will be going forward. I think she's very much one and done. Hmm. Okay. There um, may be a scene somewhere where Wanda goes back to Westview to ask her a question about the Scarlet Witch, but mm. I don't think we'll get anything more than that. It's not like she's an Avengers level threat. Mm. So yeah, I can take power from the undeserving. Really? Can you take an arc reactor to the face? <laughs> like, you're done. I mean, people, hatchlings. Leave a comment. Let us know who you think this cameo is going to be. Yeah. I mean, this is going to go up probably tomorrow so tuesday and then we'll have three days until we get disappointed by a big up cameo that will be nobody fucking uh, it ship could be hard to duck. <laughs> oh my god if it is howard the duck i welcome it we haven't seen him since uh, gardens <laughs> of the galaxy so you know um dean how are we writing these episodes i mean they're solid they're solid it's each one's a solid eight. i would go for an eight with episode three, I would go for an eight point five with episode four. I think yeah. it's it was very well paced. Um the action was very well balanced between the storytelling. I feel mm -hmm. that the fight choreography was really on point. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of character development for everyone. Mm -hmm. And yep it left me w with a draw dropping moment and there were a few mm. moments in it where i was like yo but then that one at the end i was just like yep i just i can't like oh my god yep like it was almost a civil war moment that's how serious it was almost because we do not take that shield in vain that nope. shall belong to a legend and it must now it must go back to the hands of a different legend as he rises from Get being back to who it was given to exactly no longer the falcon but captain america and that's what we want that that is what we want and i think i think we all know that's what we're gonna get so we might as well just get there because yep. we've got two episodes left well thank you all so so much for watching this dean have you got any points you'd like to close off on a last little um i i just hope that we get the payoff that this is going to because i mean they, they never dropped the ball on one division so i've got high hopes for the end of this too i do as well and i think i think we are gonna be very happily satisfied with everything i hope so yep. at least and then my dear friend we got like two weeks till Loki. That trailer really was good. I really enjoyed the Loki trailer. I can't believe they got yeah. Owen Wilson. I know. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. You know you want to see it, guys. So what have you got to do? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell. So you never miss out on any of the latest Calamity Hatcher content. It'll come straight to your device with a little notification. Like, blip. Bing. And there you are. In the world of me and my channel. <laughs> and of course, my wonderful guest, Dean. Thank you so much for joining me, buddy. Always a pleasure, my man. I love doing these with you, even though I'm really late getting them done, but we will get them done. More Marvel to come, are we, guys. Are, are we doing these two at a time now, or what are we doing? <laughs> uh, God knows, yes. We just predict the next episode and start recording immediately after this. And then if we find out it's wrong <laughs> yeah. on Friday, I'll just take it down. <laughs> Thank you, guys, so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you on the next one, because that is what it takes to be a calamity. Love to love. Bye. Yeah.